so I have the Fitbit Versa 4 and in today's tech tip I'll be showing you how to pair and set up your Fitbit Versa 4 with your iPhone all right so the first thing you want to do is go to your iPhone and then go to the Apple App Store and make sure you install Fitbit okay so Fitbit uses their own application actually called Fitbit so go there search for Fitbit this is the app make sure it's installed on your iphone and then once it's installed launch it sign into your account and if you don't have an account you can create one immediately all right now once you create your account and finish the setup process of your account this is what the fitbit apps looks like all right so it's now time to pair our watch so go to your watch and uh, switch it on for the first time this is what you'll see when you switch on for the first time by pressing this uh, side button for about two seconds. So go ahead and select your language. I'll use English. And then it says to get started, download Fitbit app to your phone. I've done that already. So what you wanna do is now go to the phone. And since you've already installed the Fitbit app and logged into our account, go to the top uh, left corner and tap on this icon this uh, avatar icon and you can see my account is right there and tap on set up a device okay and then choose your device our device is the Vasa 4 tap on that and then it's going to say uh, before you start make sure you're using the latest version of the Fitbit app which we are so go ahead and tap on setup and then read the terms and conditions and accept and then it's going to say connect the back of your Versa 4 to the magnetic charging cable. Basically start charging your Fitbit Versa 4. So inside the box you get this uh, cable, right? So this is the connector that connects to the back of the watch as you can see. So on the other end you need to plug into a power source, right? There you go. So right now it's charging as you can see. So once it's charging, go ahead and tap on next on the iPhone. And it's going to start searching for the Fitbit. Okay. So as you can see, it's already detected this Fitbit and it's going to give you a code on the Fitbit itself. So what you need to do is enter this code here, right? So enter the code. And it's going to start connecting you can see it connecting and when it's connected it will give you a check mark and ask for bluetooth pairing request so go ahead and pair with bluetooth uh, allow fitbit fitbit verse of 4 to receive your iphone notifications uh, you can choose whatever you want here but for me i'm going to choose allow because i need those notifications and it's going to ask you to purchase a Fitbit protection plan. If you want to, you can purchase. For me, I'll just select not now. And then the next step is obviously to update the firmware of the watch. So it's going to ask you to update your Versa 4. So go ahead and tap on update now. And it should start the downloading process as you can see. And the watch says it's also updating as you can see. So it's basically downloading the update to the phone and sending them to the watch via Bluetooth. So at this point, all you need to do is simply wait. It's currently at 4%. Wait for it to finish the process. So as you can see, it indicates here that it's downloading the updates. So I'll just pause the video and wait for this process to finish. Then I'll be back in a few. So the download is complete. Currently it's installing the updates. So just keep waiting. You can actually see the progress bar on the watch and it says installing right here on the phone. So just, just be patient. So as you can see, it says my Vasa 4 is updated and I can actually now see what looks like the home screen of my watch. 
And from here, all I need to do is tap on continue on the watch. And then you should see something about voice privacy, read that. And then if you want to learn more, you can tap on learn more up here and then tap on get it. And then go to Amazon Alexa. If you want to set up Amazon Alexa, then you can go ahead and tap on start setup. For me, I'll do that later. So I'll select not now. And then uh, set up uh, on wrist calls. This just basically means you can use your watch to talk and basically to receive and make phone calls and use the watch to talk. So if you want to set that up, you can set it up immediately or you can skip and set it up later. And then uh, it's going to show you some uh, basic instructions of how to use the watch. Swipe down uh, from the common watch. So just like that, you can swipe down and see all that stuff. And it can tell you go next, swipe up for notifications, just like that. Hit next, uh, swipe left or right for quick access to some of these menus and then hit next press the side button to see your apps just like that these are the apps All right next more shortcuts it's basically a tutorial or just showing you how to use the watch and then try it on so at this point i'm going to basically put on the watch Uh, so there it is. I've just put it on. There you go. So right here, I can now tap on next since I've put it on. Uh, wear and care tips. Next, you can read all that if you want to. And hit done. I'm all set up. Now, of course, Fitbit will try to make you buy the premium service. So if you want to, if you're interested in the premium services, you can go ahead and start membership and pay. Alternatively, you can simply cancel that. Now, uh, Fitbit also wants your uh, location access and Bluetooth sharing. Uh, you can enable that right away or just do that later by saying no thanks. And that's it. The Fitbit is now ready. So there's our Fitbit, there are the apps. It's now been completely paired with the app on our iPhone. And that's, that's basically how to pair your Fitbit with your iPhone. The first time setup for, for, for beginners, All right? Thanks for watching. Leave your comments and questions down below and good luck.